the Beer to Beer headquarters in South West London. My name is William Highmont, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge the Dream Car and Cash competition, week 12, which ran from the 19th to the 25th of March. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winners, uh, Peter McDonald, who won the fantastic Mini Cooper S, and Phil Hawkins, who won £10,000 in cash. And you can see us surprising them, both on our website and YouTube channel. Without further ado, I'd like to hand over to James Hill from Onside Law, who will be overseeing proceedings this morning. Good morning, my name is James Hill from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. First, I can confirm the competition data has already been uh, sent to uh, the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. <coughs> and I'd like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating positions. Uh, Mr. Gareth Deneen. Morning, James. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen, I'm a senior county referee and I appoint referees to various competitions throughout the London area. Yellow. Mr. Hugh Gilroy. Morning, James. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm an active referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Thank you. Blue. Mr. Trevor Weaver. Morning, James. Good morning. Trevor Weaver, been refereeing for over 30 years, and I also mentor. Orange. Mr. Alan Goma. Good morning, James. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Red. Mr. Peter Georgi. Good morning. My name is Peter Georgi. I'm a football and football referee mentor to Tim Observer. Mr. Alan Purple. Mr. Leo Donnellan. Good morning, James. Hello, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having played with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton on. Green. Mr Matt Cannon. Good morning, James. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. And last but least, white card. OK, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Hugh, please can you explain how you came to your position? Yeah, so I'm the Blue Cross. Um, obviously there's only one player in shot. Uh, he's got his boot raised. I've looked at both his eyes where he's looking in this direction for me. Um, I think it's either just been played or he's about to play it, so I think it's really close to his boot. Um, and from where he's looking with his eyes, based on the fact he's leaning back, I've placed my cross there. Alan, please, would you explain how you came to your position? So, uh, yes, mine is the, the red one. So we got one player in the shot. Uh, he's, uh, he's obviously off balance, so I think he's, you know, he's clearing the ball. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, so I used his uh, you know, eye line, he's looking, he's looking quite steep. And uh, looking at his, uh, at his foot, his, uh, uh, his ankle is in a slight rotation, so I thought, you know, the ball might be on his, slightly on his right. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, cross-reference, basically, you know, I use this eye line to determine the, the direction of the ball, and I think the centre is there. Gareth, please, would you explain how you came to your position? So, I mean, my cross is this particular one here. Looking at the, uh, the player, I think his leg's fully extended. I don't think he can get it any higher. I think the ball's coming in from his right, our left, slightly up, up here, and then taking an eye, a lines from his eyes uh, is where I put my cross. Leo, please would you explain how you came to your position? Yeah, this is my cross. Um, I'm higher than my colleagues. Um, looking at this player's body shape, I think he's leaning back. I think if you look at his, his leg, it's, it seems to me fairly straight, and his foot also is fairly straight. So I, I believe he's, he's kicked the ball and he, he's cleared the ball. Um, and I think because of that, I believe it's above his foot and, the, and higher than my colleagues, so that's why I've gone there. Trevor, please would you explain how you came to your position? Yes, mine's the orange yeah, we cross there, uh, right in the middle of this cluster. Um, I've agreed with everybody else that says so far, um, apart from maybe Leo there. Um, got good eye lines there to look at, shape the, his leg and his boot. Um, I determined the ball would be there. Peter, please would you explain how you came to your position? Yeah, mine's the, uh, the purple one there. 
uh, just to the right side of that cluster of, uh, of uh, positions. Uh, yes, I, I've, again, I've, I've gone with the uh, the understanding that the players just just uh, cleared the ball, and and the shape of his boot is slightly twisted, so I have gone to the left as we look at it uh, of, of his boot, and then uh, with the eye line crossed the, uh, from across here, the intersection there. Uh, that's where I put the centre ball. Matt, please, would you explain how you came to your position? Yeah, mine's the white cross at the bottom of the pile. Um, I've looked at the guy. Obviously, the guys, I think, be, I believe, I, I agree with Leo and uh, Peter that he's just played the ball. His foot's fully flexed, which would tell you he's, he's actually played the ball. You wouldn't play a ball. You know, you, you wouldn't be going to play a ball unless it was flexed like that. And I've cross-referenced his eyes and I've put the white cross there. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, guys, I think we're all in agreement about his foot. Um, yes. If we draw a line maybe on the outside of his boot, is that about yeah, in the middle of yeah, the cluster? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Oops. Up from there. Oh. Sorry, lost the plot there. Good to find it. It's just touching the outside of his boot here. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are X916 and Y689. These coordinates now will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.